Only play <laughs> with friends. Look at this. Look at this oh, silly you, thing you were she's talking done. About beehives before. Yeah. If a single bee oh, comes bee out of really this, mad. I'm gonna I get be it. really mad. Editor, editor, make bees coming out of the some. I don't know. Whoa! Are those big bees? Yeah. There, oh my God. there it goes. <laughs> See you in hell, bee. I don't like it when they kill dogs <laughs> like that. To be fair, those are like those spitters from Jurassic Park. They're scary. Yeah. Spitters. There's always like an alien dog enemy who's just like a dog, but he has some sort of like dinosaur. He's mechanic. got some kind of mental illness. You're so right. <laughs> and he refuses hey, to get help. Halo was made out of like artifacts, and now these ones are weird monster lizards. Also, those spiders. There was something similar to it in Conker's Bed Fur Day. Yeah. Those what? like things that run up on you and then duck down and explode. To be fair, with the number of comparisons you've drawn, I'm pretty convinced that this game just is a reskin of Conker's Bad Fur Day. This game is the ultimate game. You never have to play another game ever again. If you, if you only played this game for your experience of playing a shooter for the first time, you would think shooters were insanely fun. Hmm. And then you would come to a stark realization that most shooters what? are pretty oh, redundant. No, no. I oh, should not have done that! That kind of worked. That was it awesome. kind of did. That wasn't what I oh, meant to do! Oh. I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about it. Look at this place is falling apart. Maybe if you made a bigger chrome dome. This place yep. freaking sucks. <laughs> Corey, What's up, buddy? What? What would you do if you were out in the backyard and you, you notice a rustling in the bushes and you walk over and out steps the nine foot tall Bigfoot with his extended pinky? Is he give, is he extending his pinky to me? Yeah, he wants you to make a promise with him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll make a promise. Okay, he promises. I want you to be my best friend forever. Do you want to be best friends with, with Bigfoot? Yeah. I was going to say Big Mac. I would honestly, I would do that. But I'd be afraid that the second I leave pinky in hand with him, poachers would find him. And, and those Bigfoot shows would finally have their first Bigfoot. But then, Corey, after you, you promised to be his best friend forever, you notice an old lady crossing the street. And he runs over and, and punches her in her gizzard. Yeah. <laughs> so now she's dead. He, he knocks out her tooth. He punches her in their gizzard, and he she's dead. He punches her so hard, her face falls off. Well, and, and he said hiding a body is a real best friend thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? You promised to be his best friend forever. Well, I guess I gotta hide an old lady's body. What are you? What are you gonna fucking not be friends with Bigfoot after being friends with him? Okay. To, well, to be fair, there's only one Bigfoot, and there's plenty of old ladies in this if, world. If I wasn't friends with Bigfoot, he would liquidate me in an instant. <laughs> so, no thank you. I'll, I'll hide the old lady body, and, and I'll even hide her gizzard as well. Okay, Corey, well, you both pick up the old lady to move her to bury her, right? Yeah. But, uh, both of your combined strength accidentally rips her in half, <laughs> and <laughs> out falls your Mr. Bean DVD collection. <laughs> Bigfoot stole it. Well, that's actually Lexi's collection. She has the Mr. Bean DVD collection. Fuck, what, what's something you'd greatly care about? Out falls your hard drive from your computer that he stole. Okay, that, I care greatly about that. Just for all the work I've done. I'd be like, listen, you fucking stupid monkey man. You better give me that hard drive. Or this friendship is over. And he picks it up and he runs into the woods with it. <laughs> he runs into the woods? Yeah. I go, I'm trying to do the whistle thing, yeah. and then suddenly all these hillbillies with their cameras and fucking, like, whips, and I'm like, I got him, hot on your trail, smell my pinky, if what you want, like, scent. They what all would shoot you do? You. Yeah, what would you do if you got close to him and then he broke his own pinky and you felt a splitting pain in your stomach and blacked out? <laughs> That's his power. And every, every time you got close to him, he would do that. So I'm connected to Bigfoot now? Yeah, just Ever since pinky. you did the pinky promise. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that at the time. He tricked you. I'm in hell. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you gotta fight Ash now. Catch him? Yeah. Oh, shit. She's kind of a babe. She is. She looks like Anonymous. If she had a surprised expression on her face, I would keep her under my bed and pull her out and wash her <laughs> synthetic pussy. <laughs> is she a synthoid? Yeah. You know, she looks like that one, like, weird, Oh, I feel fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that with your voice? I just tried to do it with my voice. The sheer force of will brought that to be. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Very disappointing. I, I Very disappointing. You're losing half your health, B. Yeah. I, I missed when that off, video B. was brand new. When that video was brand new, I truly oh, felt God. like it was like a disturbed individual out there. The combat in this is really sick. 
Yeah, this this oh, boss shit. is a little more challenging than the last one. Yeah, She's still watch not out for the dumbass but... slashes, though. In this yeah. game, can you go to Ireland, maybe? Uh, and see your mom. My mummy. Can I look in the window and see my mummy cooking dishes? Cooking dishes. Chris, you yeah. know you fight another mech who's just swinging potato sacks around. <laughs> yeah. He's coming at you full force. <laughs> Swinging potato sacks. Yeah, he's swinging them like nunchucks. That's a great idea. You know what, Corey? Hey, sometimes... Titanfall 3 developer, are you listening? The potato boss. It yeah, would she's be... getting fucked up. It actually would be kind of cool if, like, they Check went this out. And... Yes! There we go. Ah! See ya, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was her? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Dude, I fucking broke her. <laughs> she didn't even explode a giblet, she just blood mist is all she fucking yeah. exploded it. Obliterated it. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what I was saying was if they made Titanfall 3, they should just go crazy and just make you go to like different parts of the country where yeah. you go to like Britain and like Japan. Yeah, that's the Japan, different part of America, and you're you're just right. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, not America, but you go different parts of the world. Mm. And you just like fight in like those rural areas. Yeah. That would be sick as that, fuck. That would be kind of cool. That was awesome. That stage rocks. Yeah, that stage is real cool. And the next one. The next one's also real cool. A after that point, the game is just fucking good. Yeah, it's just really good. And then it starts like getting really clever. There are some things that you can't do in the campaign though that you can do in the multiplayer. Like you can jump on your mech's shoulders and give it a back rub and stuff in the <laughs> multiplayer. You can ride other people's, you could ride your own. You could steal little batteries, you could jump on other mechs and steal batteries and put them a battery in your mech and then your mech has more batteries. <gasps> oh, dude! Sorry, I, I was listening, but... I, I... Listen, this stage fucking rocks. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. I love this stage. Whoa! <laughs> it's so fucking cool. Look at these fellers. Is that Bender from Futurama? Yeah. yeah. Hey, meatbag! <laughs> a spitting impression of him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a cow, man. That's my Fred. That's Fry. Fred. Yeah. Fry, yeah. That's my 50 year old Fry from the live action show. Come on, live uh, action movie. Professor Farring's worth. Good news, everyone! It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, be Dr. Zoidberg. That's that's him giving a lecture. I'm fucking useless. I've invented a stupid ball! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Of yellow energy. I can't fucking open this thing. Because I have no fingernails because I still chew them in my late 20s. Are they good? No, it's never good. I only do it for anxiety reasons. Chris, can you open this? Uh, I'm pretty strong, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, I, I heard that pop. That was... Ah! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> big robots and big dragons, you cannot do both. It's kind of yeah, epic. Yeah, one or the O. <laughs> Is that a shark? Yeah. Wow. What kind I of... love sharks. So the reason why this keeps happening... No. Yes. ...is because, like, you're close to, like, this thing that they were, like, trying to get. Like, you basically are gonna get this special core. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone. They're giving you glimpses of it, but you'll see. Oh, that's a guy. Was, yeah, he's full. He can't really pull you out of his mech right now. He's busy. Yeah. This game kind of sucks my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. Hey, creator of Titanfall, maybe try a little harder next time. Maybe hmm? put uh, a few less skeletons. He looks like he has moss on his face. You didn't even model this guy's skin. <laughs> I, uh, I've noticed the skeleton the skin. Gorilla mech! He's taking his shit. He's picking him around. Lucky you. Major yeah. Anderson. Oh, that's your robot. I didn't know your robot just had a fat A, dude. Yeah, he's... He does have a bit of a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> fat A. You can crawl up in there. <laughs> yeah, you could. Here's what is little, he carrying? little movie trivia. You want to know some movie trivia? Is that trivia? a bathroom? Yeah. Is that an outhouse that he's carrying? No, you dickhead. <laughs> he's dude scanning. <laughs> Corey, did you know that Keanu Reeves gave away all of his money in The Matrix 1 to animators? And that's why that cool bean movie exists? The bean movie? You know the beans? And they're all dancing? This is psychotic. Go on. What are you talking about? You've never seen that? No, what's beans? Is it that bean with like a split head where he's brown? Yes! What is that? I know I... That's a full movie that an animator from The Matrix made because Keanu Reeves gave him a shit ton of money. Just because he was... Keanu Reeves was like, I don't need all this money. And he just <laughs> gave it away to the, all the animators because he's like, you guys really made this movie really good. That's nice. So that guy made a fucking psychotic Bean movie and it's actually really funny. Is it really good? good? Yeah. Why is it called Bean? What, what's... It's not called Bean. It's a movie about beans that dance and, and also, shoot. Also, uh, I, f I found Anderson. 
Aww. Yeah, Anderson's fucked. He didn't give away all of his money, but he gave away quite a bit. He's just sealing it up, dude. So you're stealing this stuff so you can read their previous conversations. Yeah. You know, like holotapes, how they tell you what they happened? This is how you do it. I found Anderson. He's a... He's kind of, uh, hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he said. Yeah, he goes, he's, uh, <laughs> really? in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Very funny. That's funny, big titty. <laughs> <laughs> big titty. What's 7247 mean? I don't know. He fucks 7247? I get it. Yeah, dude. That rocks. <laughs> Wait, that's... That is his number, right? Haha, <laughs> no, it's 274. Doesn't even make sense. Why would you make it rain in the virtual realm of he video games? That's stupid. He's fucked seven months a week uh, for 247 days. Air. You can have it if you really want it. It sounded but give like it he back. said that's Anderson's catheter. Yeah. But he didn't. It's full of yummy, yummy pee <laughs> for me. Corey. <laughs> what? You get sent back in time to the year 20, 2007. I'd rather go back to the year 3000. <laughs> Not much has changed, far, yeah. but it is underwater. Corey, you get and sent back. And your great, great, great granddaughter <laughs> is looking fine. Corey, you get what? sent back to the year 2007. <laughs> okay. You 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 appear in GameStop. Okay. Your heart starts beating out of your chest, and you say, "Does this mean?" You run inside. You start rooting through the PS3 shelves. You find it. Haze. Haze on PS3. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. I finally get a haze. Should I announce to the world how bad of a flop it's gonna be, or should I hold my tongue? Hold your tongue. You get to enjoy it before everyone thinks it's gay. Oh, that rocks. I'm in the best timeline. It's unfortunate that I'm like fucking 12 or something. That would be the stupidest thing you could possibly do if you, you got set back in do? time. Yeah. Did I get set back in time next to where I am? As a, as a tw 12 year old or 13 year old kid? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take the game and give it to my 12 year old self and be like, hold on to this. Because in like two hours, it's gonna be a fucking train wreck and you can laugh with everybody else. Because I didn't have the game at the time. It was- I only knew about it eventually from Larry Bundy Jr., but I didn't know originally. All I know about it is it's not very good. That's all I know about it. It's horrible! It. Is it? It's so bad! That rocked, dude. I don't like it when robots deface buildings. He wasn't defacing it, he was just making you a pole vault. That's yeah. fair. He's giving me that. Wait, you can't go up a rail, you go down a rail. Listen. Well, you broke the game, stupid. I broke the laws of physics. Yeah, you I broke did. it. I did it all for love. Uh, excuse Fucking me. Asshole. Uh, Look at this guy. Um, kind of stupid, but okay. Oh. Uh, is this- are they actually gonna interact with you now, or is it still They're like mad. you're in a dream They're sequence? Mad. Robos! Oh, you better get out of there. Nah, I'm good. I don't gotta worry about a hey. dad. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that guy deserved that. <laughs> he came to life and immediately fell over before he could even get his acclimation down. Yeah. They're walking like robot zombies. It's neat. Look, that's cool. Zombie college. Zombie college? Doesn't Zombie that actually college. exist? Oh god! Yeah. yeah, you learn how to shamble around, you learn how to say brains and moan. No, I mean, like, wasn't that an the actual, from, like, uh, show? The guy from Blink-182 started it. <laughs> no way! Yeah, he started zombie college. He did not. He didn't start, no, he didn't start zombie college, but he did he start- He went to zombie college? No, uh, this is actually a real thing. <laughs> uh, he started like an alien- an alien hunting college where you can learn how to look for aliens. Oh my god, what's his name? Uh, I- I don't know. It's like the guitarist from Blink-182. I know what you're talking about. I hope that I'm not getting the guy wrong, cause that'd be- No, that'd you're be... right, it, you're right. It's- it was the whiny one. Blink? More like Stink. Yeah, stink 182. If you went into his alien college and you said that, everyone would, uh, unenroll. That's good. Has a single one of his students found an alien yet? Uh, you never know. Okay. If anyone was going to find an alien, it would be them, would it not? My, uh, my good stepdad point. got his code, so he should have unlocked it by now because it's been six months. He got his alien code? Yeah, he went to England. He spent $1,400 <laughs> to get some code so he can become a fucking alien. <laughs> I'm serious! <laughs> wait, wait, you gotta... You, I have you to gotta elaborate back. on this one. I have to reel it back? Alright. Yeah. I, I might have said this before, or maybe I didn't, and this is just gonna like sound like chaotic nonsense, but my stepdad believes 
that we were all aliens at one point, but since we abandoned our alien heritage, they abandon us. And the reason why people see aliens and like crazy people are like, look, an alien, and they, they like see glimpses of it is because they are watching us, but from a distance where we can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. But they sometimes check on us to see if we're still like willing to learn it. So he believes that there are people on this planet disguised as old aliens who have code that once you get the code, you mm. unlock your full potential and you become an alien who can like time travel and you can read minds and you can like create things out of matter and you can go anywhere at any time. And I'm being 100% serious. He believes serious. this in his heart of hearts? Yes. And he believes like shows like he believes movies like Star Wars and even Galaxy Quest have remnants of things from <laughs> actual space like stories and stuff. He's like... He's like, those stories had to come from somewhere. They were just not fictionated out of, like, anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, I hate to break it to you, but... Are, some, are those people really, like, that unimaginative that they believe, like, shit like that has to know. come from... I I don't know. See, you laugh, but your dad's going to be doing this in a second. All right, check this out. <laughs> okay, exactly. That's gonna be, awesome. We're going to be sitting yeah. at a table that we're just going to go to the past and the future. So watch this shit, Chris. Yeah. You can, like, so switch now. So now I can, I can go back and this forth. Is what I, this is what I accidentally said back then, but look at this shit. This that's shit is so cool. really cool, yeah. Dude, that's... It's like instantaneous too. It's yeah, real neat. Yeah, it's awesome. Video games are pretty cool sometimes. Yeah. When they're done right and they feel good and they just have tons of fun mechanics, it's super satisfying. Chris, just trust me, okay? My dad's an alien and he can <laughs> fucking teleport behind you and end your life. <laughs> so you said that he went to England to get an alien degree? I forget the person. There's this woman who is apparently Jesus reincarnated, okay? Uh, we should talk about Jordan D next. Uh, go for yeah, it. yeah, are you talking about Emma yeah, Watson? We, we can talk about Jordan D, but I'm just, I don't know her name. It's like some long name, but she's apparently like Jesus reincarnated, and my stepdad believes it's true, yeah. and he believes that he got the code to make him become aliens, because he said Jesus wasn't Jesus was an alien. An alien. <laughs> Your stepdad might actually be up on some Jordan D shit. <laughs> he might. Your dad is Jordan D. No. Okay, wait. Well, yeah, let's get into Jordan D. Can, can I break it all down really quick? Yeah, yeah. Bring go for it, it to something we can un bring it to a level we can understand. Yeah, okay. Talk okay. about Jordan D. Take for to, people come who, on, to Funky, take it to the fridge. <laughs> for people who don't know what we're talking about, uh, we used to know this guy on Newgrounds.com oh, like called Jordan D. Okay, so he had a character on Newgrounds called Patchman. He made cartoons with this Patchman. They were really like childish and like just boring and generic. <laughs> And nobody watched them, and and then he decided, like, you know what? I'll just start a uh, cult. He was ugly too. We should <laughs> yeah. probably bring that. Up. That's what he got. He, he started a cult about. Uh, he called it Spirit Science. It's the most genius name ever because it makes people go, you know what? I'm spiritual and scientific. That's pretty. That I can relate to this. Yeah. But everything he talks about is made up goo goo gaga garbage. <laughs> about like the moon being hollow and fucking Emma Watson being the second coming of Christ. He's well, fucking the crazy. The moon, is, the moon is fake, man-made moon. Didn't you say that he, Emma? He came to Emma Watson. Once in a dream. No, he, yeah, he says that, that while he was astral projecting, he spoke to Emma Watson's spirit and just like she's the second coming of Christ and he's in love with her and all this other crazy shit. He's crazy, but he's so crazy. But here's some insider knowledge that most people don't know. Uh, when I was talk, I used to n talk to him on fucking Skype years and years and years ago. But he would, he said to me one time, uh, "Yeah, I'm really excited about this new episode of Patch Man." I'm like. I'm just like humoring him and just being nice, and I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, uh, I like Patch Man. I was lying, but, but I was just being nice. But uh, he was like, I was like, how did you come up with Patch Man? He's like, oh, I didn't. Uh, I, I bought it off a friend. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I, I paid my friend twenty dollars. Now I, I own it, so it's mine. I'm like, you couldn't even come up with Patch Man. Wow, with royalties, I think he owes him a few hundred dollars. He literally <laughs> bought this concept from some stupid kid on Newgrounds who probably looks back on it now with ultimate regret. Um, <laughs> probably, because not only is Patch Man associated with a cult, yeah. but he's also stupid looking. I'll bet that's literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's literally some shit that his friend drew in like math class. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, that's cute. Can I have that? Uh, okay, twenty dollars. <laughs> like this is this thing's so shit. I don't think it ever happened with it. Little did he know <laughs> that whenever they fucking. But you know that this week's fucking Jordan D story was, of course, Emma Watson is the second coming of Christ. There's a video of Jordan D wandering into a hospital, that uh, one. acting as a doctor. That one's the worst. He breaks into a fucking open heart surgery and just stands in there with his germs infesting the man's open wound. Yeah, and he's. 
says, there's a severe lack of crystals. <laughs> yeah. <in the> operator. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking psycho. He should have gone to jail for he that. He should have. No, that, he... What he did I, was illegal in every fucking sense of the word. He had permission to do that, apparently. I looked more into that. I was he like, what the- He had permission to walk into Well, then why is he acting like he was infiltrating it? I don't know, dude. To he seem, acts like he's, like, seem breaking cool in. cool to the aliens that he's building pyramids in <laughs> North California for. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's dude, the, another thing. He- I, I remember he got in a huge argument with Zach when he was talking about how He came to a Pico Day once. It was funny. Yeah, he said the pyramids were built from the top down, and then Zach was like, you fucking Neanderthal, that makes no sense. <laughs> no, He's it, like, it oh, wasn't yeah. just Zach, it was Zach and Niall were like yeah. debating him, and it was, dude, it looked like Jordan was gonna fucking deck them both, oh, he was yeah, getting he was so pissed. angry. He was clutching his hands and everything. Let's not get into the logistics of pyramids, yeah, all no, people I, need to I know mean, is these fucking psycho. Yeah, we can rattle off a few, I mean, he thinks that all of our knowledge came from a 15 foot I, Egyptian bird dolphin? man. I am wondering. <laughs> he thinks that, uh, that Hebrews are aliens from the future that needed to repeat history. And look, I wouldn't rag on the guy, but he he this is false he's information. Asshole. He's turning people stupid and like he's he's abusing his power. He knows exactly what he's doing. That was sick. That yeah, was pretty he, cool. he has like a bunch of videos about like this is uh financial spirituality. Oh, people like him are truly fucking I mean, evil. He has massive meetups and I'm sure he's making bank on people's stupidity. You know what I have a feeling what happened to? And this is gonna sound like just Heresy and maybe even like insulting. Yes. But I feel like he was just watching Harry Potter one day to learn about the occult. And then he <laughs> fell asleep after beating off to Emma Watson and then saw her in his dreams. Mm -hmm. Because he pictured Emma Watson was getting naked. I don't next think to that him. Emma Watson was the nexus point because he tells the story of how he met Emma Watson. He was like, "Oh yeah, I was doing ayahuasca and I wanted to talk to Jesus." What and is Jesus ayahuasca? was like, it, it, "It's like a, it's like a hallucinogenic. It's mm. like kind of like DMT." But oh. he's like, uh, he was like, "I was doing ayahuasca and I was talking to Jesus." Like he just casually brings up that he oh. talks to Jesus. He's like, "I was talking <laughs> to Jesus," and Jesus was like, "Dude, we we hang out out all the time. You should talk to the Christ Sophia, the female Jesus." And then I saw. Her. It was Emma Watson. That's, it was like <laughs> you just said, Christ Sophia, the the other female Jesus. That's what I was talking about. With my fucking stepdad. Yeah, no, that's why I was saying maybe your stepdad oh and Jordan God. D are like part of the same club. Yeah, maybe he watches spirit science and he just hasn't directly told me him. I know, dude. The fucked up thing about spirit science, is, uh, like, uh, like when I used to go on Facebook when I had it, fucking, I would see spirit science pop up just from normal people I know, and they're just sharing it. It's like, what the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, but I, I guarantee you, those people have no idea what it is. Oh yeah, they, 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 just, they find just it interesting. They see the name. The name is fucking. G Genius, I will give him that because it just makes people think they're smart by like following it. To me, it just looks like the extra credit show. It's just like some guy. Th that's what with he a big ripped head. off. Yeah, exactly. It's just some guy with a big fucking head. That's not what that extra D credits is. is fucking genius or nothing. No, in fact, far right the from opposite. It. But fucking. Uh, also, you know that one song that I will not believe my eye. When five million fireflies. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. I remember. The it only reason exactly I know that song <laughs> is because he made a video to it about astral projection. And then after I saw that, I looked into astral projection. What the fuck he's talking Look at about? This shit, Chris. This oh is like my. some Mario Galaxy That's shit. That's awesome. It rocks. I love like the instantaneousness. Watch this though. This gets really cool. This is what I was talking about, where it, like they really play with like the elements. You were saying, Chris. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, so there's there's a, a Reddit uh, subreddit called Conspiracy, I think. And, uh, I found an astral projection post on it, because it's all, like, conspiracy theories and stuff, and yeah. this guy made this really funny post that was like, Astral projection is real. Anyone can do it, and I'm going to show you. And he's just, like, he's talking about how him and his friends astral project to, like, meet up and, like, hang out on the surface of the moon, and, like, have little campfires on the surface. Oh, no, oh, no, yeah, you sorry. said they were on the, the surface, surface of, of the sun. Yeah, you were on the sun. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't and, that be bright and hard to see? It would be so bright. Also, like, the surface of the sun is probably moving up and down, like, miles at a time. Like, you can't just sit on it. And then also, uh, no, but he was all like, yeah, sometimes we like to go places we're not supposed to, like military bases, but Sometimes they line the military bases with electronic fields that shock you and keep you in place. Then you get escorted off the sites by soldiers astral projecting. It's like, this is the craziest fucking shit I've ever heard <laughs> I in my like life. I feel he's talking about an anime I watched recently. It sounds awesome, honestly. Yeah, it sounds like an anime I watched recently. It just sounds like maybe he was having a fun dream and But these to people like, like Jordan D are here. fucking... Alright, cool. y'all ready for this? This is so awesome. Oh, oh my god, that's oh. insanity. <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh, get ready. You know what, Titanfall? You're pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's that was sick. Fucking tight. Oh, um, oh, oh Jesus Christ! Done that. <laughs> Ouch! I now realize my mistakes, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I wondered. I was wondering if you were gonna go across the window, but I don't think you can make it close enough. 
Uh, maybe. I mean, I could try it for shits and grins. Worst case scenario. Did you scenario, hit a checkpoint? I'd... I might emit a grin or two. Yeah. You want me to do what? Oh, you can. Oh, I could have done that. Okay. Well, you know what I want to see? The more you know. I want to see a speedrun of Titanfall 2. <laughs> I think that would look fucking amazing. Have you seen people are starting to get that like... That sick. The, oh my god. You know all the new tricks they've discovered in uh, Ocarina of Time uh, speedruns? Or, Dude, or, or those are... speedruns? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's there's, really funny. It's hilarious. They're saying, like, now the rules are changing like, uh... Wh oh, Whoa. this is sick. Oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> That's sick as hell. <laughs> that was so fucking awesome. Yeah, that's no, real cool. Yeah, no, Ocarina of Time, that game has been, like, broken over the knee yeah. of gamers. But now it's gotten to the point where, it, it, like, uh, it's it's made, like, it, it's become super uninteresting the way they do it, that nobody wants to watch it because it's so boring to watch now. They're, they're actually saying, like, um, what is it, like, tilting? I don't know if it's, like, so, it's, like, something where... Like virtual console versus like actual console, and they're like making it now where you can beat the game at the credits. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like you can you can almost like just skip everything at the very beginning. Yeah. And it's like it was hilarious when 18 when they figured out wrong warping, but that's the least of your problems now. I like watching Mario 64 speedruns because it's like it's like optimal insanity. Yeah. Like because like that's such a huge category where people try to and same with like a. Mario Odyssey has optimal, like, um, platforming and shit. Like, those speedrunners are insanely good. I tried speedrunning, uh, Sonic CD, and then I gave up after two days of trying for, like, ten hours <laughs> each day. I was like, this sucks. No, speedrunning is the most soul-crushing shit ever. Yeah, there's nothing more sad watching someone who's speedrunning for, like, five hours, and they fuck up once, and they lose a second of time, but they... Yeah, then they have to start all over. Yeah, it's just, like, shit. By the way, we got to see how that man became in the ceiling. <laughs> that was what was going on there when yeah. that dude was slapping on him. Have you ever seen and, that, pi uh, that picture? There's a they they made a silly little time uh, time rupture that they're gonna use as a weapon. Yeah, see, that's why you got it. Yeah. Have you seen that picture of the guy with the huge bags under his eyes? It's like, this guy's the first guy to get every trophy on the PlayStation Three. No, he just looks dead. Every single trophy on the PlayStation 3. It's probably a fake B, but it looks funny. Wasn't there a... Wasn't there a dude who had, like, the most Xbox Live achievements ever, and he, like, got that, and then he was trying to maintain his title, so he had to spend, like, 60 hours a minute playing video games? That sucks. It, like, destroyed his life. Or, or I don't think he said it destroyed his life, but... If you read the subtext, it seems like it destroyed his life. You see, that's the problem I have with speedrunning, right? Like, you speedrun. You spend two or three years of your life trying to achieve a simple thing, like, oh, you want to get under one hour in a game, right? But you spend so long trying to get it. You you lose birthdays. You fucking probably lose friendships. You fucking fail class. You are totally distant from your family because you're playing a video game 12 hours a day. And then when you finally achieve your goal and, like, you feel like you mean something in your life, the next day, some dickhead snipes your fucking score and you have to start all over. <laughs> it, it's literally like that. Like, I watch a speedrunner and they feel like, like they're crying and they're like, I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank Jesus. I want to thank my girlfriend. I'm just so happy. And then the next day, they're just like, yeah, I don't think I want to play this game anymore because, like, someone stole their fucking score. Yeah, some guy <laughs> glitched through a wall. Yeah, and... someone found a thing. That's what happened with, um, uh, Cosmo. Cosmo spent like fucking three years trying to get under 18. And when he finally accomplished it, some dude four days later got another score because they found a new skip. And now oh and now God. the game you can beat it in like what nine minutes, eight minutes? Yeah. It's insanity. Sanity not included. Dude, that's epic. <laughs> that's a reference for the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good Epic. times in the salt mines, watching you work. <laughs> the salt mines? <laughs> Stab yeah. the computer, dude. <laughs> makes me lol. Anyways, I, I love when they explode in yeah. the giant steak beans. <laughs> steak beans? Yeah. My favorite food, steak beans. I, I think that's my, my favorite new word for giblets, is steak beans. <laughs> <laughs> This is like fucking, like it's always sunny, where he's like, what's your favorite food? Milk, milk, ste uh, milk steak, yeah, yeah. milk steak. Or is it like jelly beans? Or is it, is it milk steak? Uh, it's milk steak or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he like goes into the bathroom, he's like, sorry. I was like sweating and the guy would not give me a shirt. 
Oh, this shit is cool. Yeah. Fucking Halo 3 trailer, eat your heart out. Yeah. That guy's <laughs> gonna wake up dead. <laughs> this is- this is so fucking awesome. Yeah. You guys are just getting fucking robbed and you're enjoying it. Yeah. Cause, cause games usually move. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> look, he took the fucking cord. That's so sick. Yeah. Well, these guys aren't. They're having a not very good time right now. You gotta right go now. to the court and I'm Shoot him in the head, yeah! Yes. <laughs> He's gonna wake up with his head exploding immediately. <laughs> He's gonna and he comes have back kind of a headache. <laughs> He's gonna say, "Ow, what happened?" This is insane. He wakes up, falls on his bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> grab the core. Uh, Are you gonna core. grab the freaking core or not? Yeah. Are you just gonna get it and then eat it? <laughs> I think I'm just scanning it. I'm looking at it and remembering by heart, like how to solve a Rubik's cube. <laughs> 